Excellencies, it is a great honor to address the 13th meeting of Ministers of Foreign Affairs of our very own Amazon Cooperation Treaty Organization, APTO. Allow me at the outset to express the sincere regrets of Her Excellency Ildis Polak Bigli, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Suriname, for not being able to attend this meeting owing to prior commitments. I take this opportunity to convey Minister Bigley's cordial greetings and sincere wishes for a productive meeting. On behalf of my delegation, I join in expressing heartfelt gratitude to the government and people of Ecuador, as well as the Permanent Secretariat for the Hospitality extended to our delegation since our arrival and for the excellent meeting arrangements in the beautiful city of Tena, which is truly representative of our dear Amazon. Against the backdrop of the recent conclusion of the COP23 held in Bonn, Germany, today's meeting is considered timely as it presents a further opportunity to recommit ourselves to this unique and special regional collaboration for the sustainable use of the Amazon region and to discuss and agree on the collective way forward. The Republic of Suriname is one of the most Amazonian country of the Amazon because of its forest cover of over 93% and has been classified as one of the countries with the highest forest cover in the world. But at the same time, despite its significant contribution to the world's environment, Suriname is also one of the most endangered countries in the world due to the sea level rise as a result of global warming. The consequences of global warming has direct effect on our forests and our health and our generations depend on actions we take now. On another note, small-scale gold mining and logging also present serious challenges to our pursuit for sustainable development in harmony with our nature. APTO is without a doubt a contemporary instrument with a broad vision of South-South cooperation that strengthens its government vocation to build synergies with other players, nations, multilateral bodies, development agencies, scientific community, and society in general. The ACTO project monitoring forest coverage in the Amazon region is a great initiative in which the observation room gives us the opportunity to have a clear perspective of deforestation and to create awareness of the effects of human handling and also manage to produce deforestation maps. With the assistance of ACTO, we have initiated a mangrove rehabilitation project to project our low-lying coastline. We are obliged to assess the necessity for sea defense options to project our coastal area where we produce our food and where the majority of our people live. The government of Suriname is also pleased with the support given to ACTO by the governments of Germany and the Netherlands during the period 2005-2017 through the project Institutional Strengthening of the ACTO Amazon Regional Program. The government of Suriname also acknowledges the contribution made by international cooperation to the governments of member countries, friendly countries, and international organizations to the achievements of objectives and mandates of ACTO by funding projects on the strategic agenda for Amazon cooperation. Due to financial difficulties in our country, it would therefore be a challenge to make financial commitments. So that's why we are pleased with ACTO taking the opportunity to look for financial donors and support this mandate. The government of Suriname is reiterating its commitment to maintaining a forest cover of 93% and as stated in the message of our president to the president of the COP23 and I quote, I am very proud of the contribution we have made to environmental sustainability in Suriname. It is a commitment we make as a nation, meaning in fact an undertaking that will require science, technology, expertise, technical support, and above all, the necessary financial resources and the political will of the global community in a durable partnership. It is for great importance for the benefit of all mankind to secure the sustainability of our Amazon forests and its rich biodiversity. In this regard, it is Suriname's firm opinion that the international community has a moral obligation towards the Amazon region for its contribution to the mitigation of climate change. Financial support and technical assistance in the development of sustainable forest management 
and climate change resilience will substantially facilitate our efforts. So we now therefore lend its support to the Amazon initiative proposed by the President of Ecuador. And in conclusion, please allow me on behalf of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Suriname to extend congratulations to Her Excellency Maria Fernanda Espinosa, the government and people of Ecuador for convening of this important meeting aimed at, solid aimed at solidifying the relations between the current secretary and the actual member countries.